Hello students, let us resume our discussion on uh, the syllabus for semester 3, BA English Honours for Poland University and the reading list therefore. In my previous uh, lecture, I have discussed about CC T5 and T6, now let us think about CC T7. As you can see that there is a particular kind of a, a link between the, the British literature. So, in your previous years, that means in semester 2 and also in semester 1, you have been introduced you with uh, the literary texts that have been taken for consideration from the uh, British literature. Now, you can get here that uh, in CCT7, the continuation of that such kind of British literature is being there. As you can see, the name of the paper is British Poetry and Drama, 17th and 18th century. So, fundamentally, what you can find here that there are four major texts that have been considered as uh, in, in your detailed and non-detailed texts uh, and uh, you know significantly if you go through the history of English literature you will find that these texts have been taken from different different sections of the history okay so that's why you will find one particular text by John Milton one particular text by Afra Ben one particular text by John Webster and one particular text by Alexander Pope. Why such kind of things have been there? Because these are the texts that are representing a particular group of history. Okay, and uh, if possible, in this particular uh, channel, you will get the ample references of the history of English literature. As I have already told you, that uh, in the semester you have lost the direct taste of history of English literature. So these will be discussed in the history of English literature playlists. Okay, so let us come to the, the texts that are in your syllabus here under the CCT7. As you can see, the detailed texts and non-detailed texts and the first texts that have to be discussed here or mentioned here, it is John Milton's Paradise Lost Book 1. Now, what happens to be very important and significant here that uh, Paradise Lost, you know, there are ample or, or a group, uh, there are different books for uh, Paradise Lost. That means here you can find the reference of book one, there is book two, book three, book four, book five and so on. So ultimately what I should say that uh, in, in a future days, that means if you have the, the focus for, for keeping yourself intact under the group of, you know, uh, the academia, that means in English, uh, whether it is the master's degree or maybe any other further education, then it will be, uh, I think that uh, John Milton's Paradise Lost Book 1 is very significant. And I, I should say here that if you have the, the focus, you, if you have the, uh, the target of getting yourself attached with the English academia, then it will be very helpful to, for you to buy the book for Paradise Lost in the, from the Norton edition. Because today you have book one, it might be possible that in your masters you will get book four and book two and book three or maybe book twelve. So ultimately you need to know the, uh, the text of Paradise Lost in detail. So significantly now you can get book one and in future you will get the other books too. So Norton edition is based book uh, for Paradise Lost here. For Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock, as you can see, it is book one and book two, these are in your syllabus. So ultimately what I should say here that The Rape of the Lock, uh, the two books are very significant, you know. The first one is uh, by R.K. Cole, okay, and this is the Oxford edition. And the second edition is by Harriet Raghunathan and that is the Worldview edition. Okay, so the first one, I repeat, the first one is uh, the Oxford edition and the second one is the Worldview edition. What happens, you know, that in, in the Oxford edition, uh, you will get a very good introduction and also the footnotes that is made by R.K. Cole in uh, regarding the Dip of the Lock. But so far as the Worldview edition of Rip of the Lock is concerned, I will suggest that there are ample references of some critical essays apart from the introduction and the footnotes. So therefore, you can buy any of these two. That means either Oxford or uh, uh, the, the Worldview edition, okay? So that is the Rip of the Lock. So ultimately, the, both Paradise Lost book one and the Rip of the Lock book one and two, these are for your detailed takes. The questions will uh, come from uh, the two marks and five marks. Questions will come from 
these two texts so you have to deal with them in detail so far as the non-detailed text for cct7 is concerned there are two major texts one is john webster's the duchess of malfi and the second one is afra Bell's the rover now you will find that john webster's the duchess of malfi as it is considered as the typical jacobian revenge tragedy so ultimately i should say that uh, uh, if you have to go with the text then the worldview edition is better for you right because there you will get not only some introduction and uh, the, fo the footnotes regarding the text itself uh, but also you can find some important critical essays are there okay so for that the duchess of melfi you have to buy i i consider or i uh, suggest uh, the worldview edition and then there is the rover for Afraben. The worldview edition is also present for them. So you can find both in these two texts, that is Webster's Duchess of Malfi and Afraben's The Rover. Ultimately, you will find one is tragedy and the second one is comedy. That means the comic orientations are there. But at the same time, you can find that the Duchess of Malfi and The Rover both are significantly focusing at the, the problems of the society or maybe the societal perspectives in detail. Okay. So these are the four texts, the two from the retail section and two from the non-detail. Okay, for Paradise Lost, you have Norton, uh, the Rev of the Love, you have Oxford and Worldview, and Duchess of Malfi and Rover, you should buy uh, the Worldview edition. Okay, so these are the three sections. In the previous lecture, I have mentioned uh, CCT5, CCT6, and now it is CCT7 or CC7, where you will get British poetry and drama 17th and 18th century. So these are the three core papers that are in your English Honours Semester 3 syllabus. Okay. All these papers consist six credits each. Okay. So that means you have to answer of 75 marks. Now, in the next section, uh, that is uh, BA English Semester 5, uh, it's not Semester 3, sorry, syllabus SSAT1 english language teaching so here you will find that ssc t1 uh, there are two ssc papers one for semester three and one for semester uh, four now what happens you know that these are two credit courses that means in your uh, routine probably you will you will get two classes in in each week so the two credit courses will consist of uh, you know 50 marks the full marks is 50 and these are divided into two major sections as i discussed earlier that uh, it is the 40 marks that you have to answer uh, in the examination hall and 10 marks these are internal and the 10 is also divided into 5 plus 5 5 marks from internal or project assignment or anything else and the 5 for the classroom attendance and the remaining 40 will have to be answered by you you know that there there are six major sections that have been taken for consideration here what are the six major sections as you can see or as you can find here as i have uh, suggested earlier that the six major sections i have mentioned the six names there the six points have been mentioned here uh, the first one is knowing the learner okay as the name is english language teaching or elt okay the first one is knowing the learner the second one is structures of English language. You can find that there are ample references of the English language, the structures, you know, the phonological structure, morphological structure, okay, lexical structure, syntactic structure, semantic structure, all these have to be discussed in detail. The third one is methods of teaching English language and literature. So there are different kinds of methods that have been taken for consideration. You will find the grammar translation method. You will find the direct method, right? you will find the other methods like say uh, communicative language teaching method okay so all these methods have to be detailed uh, discussed in detail that means uh, in the typical indian scenario what are the methods of teaching uh, that i should adopt or we should adapt rather okay because the most of the students are coming from the bengali medium section some of the students are coming from uh, the first generation learner groups so ultimately when knowing the learner this will provide you the the knowledge regarding the learners, their capability, their competence level, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, the idiolect and sociolect and etc. things. And then you have to choose for the methods, which particular method is to be considered as good for you. Um, the fourth uh, one is the materials for language teaching. That means what are the materials that you need for language teaching? 
uh, whether it is the, the classroom materials or maybe the materials that will help you in the teaching scenario. Okay. The number five, it is the assessing language skills. That means the language skills of the learners and how can you, uh, can you uh, assess the language skill and how it will help you to teach them English properly or English language properly. And that next one, that is the last one, is using technology in language teaching, how technology can be used. As you can see that in the present scenario, in most of the colleges, you can find there are ample references of, uh, you know, the books and also the CDs, okay. And also there is a reference to language lab. Okay, there is language laboratory. And with the help of such kind of language laboratory, how the technology can help you to know your language better, right? So these are the six sets or these are the six topics. And as it has been mentioned in your syllabus, that any four of the following topics have to be discussed in detail. That means you have to go through any four of them. Okay. You can go with six because it will obviously help you. And these are very short uh, chapters, as you can see, almost say 30 pages. The total section has been covered in 30 pages. And there is a particular dedicated book that is being made for your um, SEC T1 and also T2 in your next semester. And the name of the book is uh, Introduction to Undergraduate. Please note, it is Introduction to Undergraduate English Book 2. And it was published, it, is, it was actually dedicated for the students of Kolani University. And it was published from Cambridge Publications or Cambridge Book. Again, I repeat, the name of the book is Introduction to Undergraduate English Book 2. Two. It is a violet color. The, the cover page is a violet color. So this particular book will help you because uh, you know that all these sections have been discussed in detail in this particular book, and you will get the basic knowledge and the basic implications, informations regarding the sections of this particular text. And this is your text textbook. Okay, the questions that have been discussed there, the you know at the end of the of each section or segment, you will find the two marks and five marks question and also the 10 master's question. So the questions will come from that particular book also, okay? So it will be helpful for you to buy this book or maybe photocopy this book, uh, the section of the book that is for dedicated for your ACCT one and ultimately go through the text properly and you will know everything about them, okay? Uh, these are in a nutshell in your syllabus uh, and ultimately, so you have the three CC papers and one ACC papers, go with them in detail, I hope, it will be helpful for you uh, and the book lists have been already being provided in this in these two lectures or these two discussions uh, ultimately stay attached and i will discuss all these things in detail here in the videography and uh, say subscribe this channel and stay attached i hope this will help you in better, better life thank you